Hey guys, how's it going? It's Pete, and man, what a day. I've had a good day. Um, went to the art store this morning, and I got some really nice supplies for uh, for the project I'm working on. The one, uh, the video that I did about the uh, VW. Well, <clears throat> for the mock-ups that I'm going to do, for the uh, examples of the Grateful Dead art <laughs> that I'm going to produce, I'm going to do it in oil pastels. I just got a full kit of these which I haven't used, um, man, I haven't used these in a long time, and I used to have such a good time with them. And uh, I got a nice little watercolor pad, um, decent thick paper, which I think will work really well with these oil pastels. So I'm gonna do some funky deadhead art. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. And uh, one of my projects for today was um, taking some trash to a dumpster, and when I was at the dumpster, aside from uh, falling completely under the van, <laughs> <laughs> the dumpster was it's kind of on a hill and it's kind of like a gorilla dumpster the reverse of dumpster diving where i just throw lots of crap out in my old neighborhood um they've got a few dumpsters there and uh i hit some slick snow and i fell and there was nothing to grab onto so i pretty much went up to my chin under the van <laughs> that was fun <laughs> not really well actually it was fun um i didn't hurt myself too bad except for just my pride <laughs> so i guess i'll chalk that up to fun but one thing i found next to the dumpster was this and this is one of my favorite kind of finds and this is an old remnant something i i don't know what the hell it was it was obviously a sofa love seat sort of thing but i don't know for sure what it was i can see you know do my forensics <laughs> there's some foam so it was furniture and then there's this which man this to me is a score a big time score this is natural fiber i can see you know it's like a cecil or sisal whatever you call it just twine but this stuff is brilliant i love it and look at this there's two long pieces of this that would make a nice gun strap or who knows what um i can already think of several things oh here we go this one piece coming free it's like fabricy, but it's all natural fibers man that is good stuff i would never throw that out because it has a million uses I, I man this is something i would grab for all kinds of projects and i'm glad i found this it's awesome and this is hardwood i think it's um based on that grain that's probably ah, i don't know it's hard to say i would i was gonna say birch but i don't know it looks looks oaky in this way uh, it's hard to say i don't know but it's good wood it'd be great for uh kindling so man i scored to me that's a score that's a good day i can get value out of that and let me take you along for dinner this is what i'm doing i'm splurging because i finally got some money that wasn't um just evaporated <laughs> the last piece of money i got just went into my alternator and uh voltage regulator project which wasn't really a project it was more like a curse but that's done and and i finally got a little bit of money so um dinner tonight is going to be what i cooked in a in a restaurant when i was working as a cook a long time ago and man what a great recipe it's uh shrimp scampi and to that i'm gonna add this beautiful beautiful alaskan rockfish look at that ah if you smelled it it just smells wonderful it doesn't smell fishy it smells actually good so what i'm going to do is uh i'm not going to do a cooking video i'm just going to do a cooking description video so i'm going to cut this up and i'm going to saute it in shallots garlic and butter until it's just right and then i'm going to fold it in with some uh pasta and I'm going to add this Italian pa parsley, uh, a little bit of lemon, and this uh, really expensive uh, Romano Pecorino cheese. This is going to be one hell of a meal. This is my big splurge for finally getting some money where I can take a deep breath and do things. <laughs> and, oh, oh, shit, do I have time? Um, one thing I wanted to show you, I don't have time, but... This is the last piece of trim I have on this job I'm working on. And uh, what I did, it's just a glue up. And I wanted to, but I don't have my drill. It's somewhere else. But I wanted to show you how I drill out. But I'll just sort of describe it, kind of like my cooking video. <laughs> um, 
This is a uh, drill bit for my Festool drill bit. So I'll just drill that in and then I'll show you. I'll put one of these in with some wood glue and that's it. Those are my nails, my new nails. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to kick back, enjoy a meal, break apart this awesome find and uh, enjoy having a little, be, being a little flush. <laughs> I hope you guys are well. Take care and I'll talk to you next time.